We implemented an image deconvolution algorithm used in radio astronomy on the GPU using PyCUDA. Radio astronomy isn't done in the same way as normal imaging. Because the diffraction limit scales with wavelength, the resolution of a single radio antenna is thousands of times worse than an optical telescope of the same size. Instead, radio astronomers build antenna arrays like this one and perform interferometry to compare the signal between antennas and achieve great resolution. Interferometer data comes as complex valued visibilities, which needs to be Fourier transformed to produce an image. Here's an idealized example of an interesting source. The transform is commonly done by applying the FFT algorithm and requires gridding your data. Both the gridding and FFT can be sped up by the GPU. If you imaged a point source, like a star, with an ideal interferometer, it would look something like this. But because the number of antennas in your array is finite, you can only sparsely sample the signal from the source in the Fourier plane. The result of the sparse sampling is that the actual point sped function looks like this, with strong side lobes that infiltrate the entire image. The dirty point spread function gets convolved with the full image, which significantly obscures the source. Radio astronomers use an algorithm called clean to try and deconvolve the source image from the point spread function to remove those dirty side lobes. The clean algorithm works iteratively. At each step, it identifies the maximum point on the dirty image and subtracts off a scaled version of the dirty beam at that position. On the left, you see the dirty image converging towards a flat gray map with each iteration. On the right, you see the difference between the dirty original image and the cleaned one. At each iteration, the clean algorithm builds up a model of point sources that approximates the true source. Our GPU implementation deconvolves a 1024 by 1024 image in 3 seconds, about 70 times faster than the same algorithm coded with NumPy running in serial. We have a more modest speedup of about 3 compared to the standard black box software. State-of-the-art radio telescopes require enormous computing power, and even modest speedups could reduce costs significantly.